Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Meal Time. And in this one, we're at Dickey's Barbecue Pit for some Texas barbecue. They've been open since 1941, so definitely some history here. Let's go get some. First up, we have the chicken burger. Oh, lovely presentation. I like the big thick onion on top. Two onions. It's quite a bit of chicken on there. Lots of barbecue sauce. Interesting looking fries too. I don't think I've ever had these fries before. What are these called? Crisscross fries or something? Nice and hot. Nice texture. Could use a little bit of mustard, I think, just a little bit. Yeah, for some reason, I, I prefer mustard on fries, not so much ketchup. Isn't that bizarre? Or if it's ketchup, then it's gonna have some mayonnaise too, but that's just me. I like the bite that mustard has, especially American style. This is not too hot, like Japanese mustard, not spicy. There we go. Going in. Mmm. Oh, tasty. That's legit, yo. Legit. Let's do the chicken sandwich. And you get quite a bit of chicken, I'm surprised. Cause I mean, we're in Japan, so usually meat portions are kind of like leveled down here. They give you the little sleeve to put it in if you want, but no, let's just go for it, just like this. I don't think it's gonna be that messy. Tasting that onion, that raw onion. Oh boy, best chicken sandwich I've had in a while. That is some really nice chicken breast. A nice tangy barbecue sauce. So the price for this is about $10 and you definitely get a lot of meat on this. It's thick, so they're not skimping on the meat. And these are called waffle fries, she told me. Waffle fries. Let's go for ketchup this time. Oh, that's good too. Mmm. Uh, still, I prefer mustard. Mmm. Maybe both would be best. Yeah. Well, no mayonnaise here. This is American style. All right, next up is the barbecue set plate. And this is pork burnt ends right here. And then there is a spinach salad and a Caesar salad. And then you get a bun as well, too, and some garnish here. We've also got orange juice to drink. It's all right. Salad first. I'm really curious about this spinach. It looks like a spinach dip, doesn't it? That's fine as is. Oh, it's like a, a stew almost. This is delish. It's cheesy, it's, what is it? It's got some herbs in it. Try the Caesar salad here. Oh, the dressing. Goodness, it's got a smoky flavor. Different from any Caesar dressing I've had before. Pork burnt ends. Are they burnt? Oh, pretty hard to get the plastic fork into it. That's a tough piece of meat. <laughs> Let's go in for a softer piece. Oh, yeah, that's a good piece. Yeah, oh, you gotta get that fat in there. Oh, smothered in the sauce here. Oh, this is legit. I've never had pork this good. Wow. I'm used to Chinese style, like subuta, sweet and sour pork. This is different. Oh, that barbecue sauce, tangy goodness. And the price for the set was about $15, I think. Comes with the drink, pretty reasonable. Let's try some of the spinach as a dip. Let's see how this works. 
it works, but you know, it's better by itself. What do we have here? This is the beef brisket burger. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it looks gorgeous. It's got jalapenos on it. Nice, and a lot of beef. Oh, look at that. That is a huge chunk of meat on there. Goodness. And it comes with coleslaw and another drink, another orange juice, I guess. And this one's a bit more pricey, 15 or $16, I think. It's been ages since I've had brisket. Look at that. That is a chunky piece of meat right there. Oh, look at that, it's just falling apart. Oh, that's so tender. And this one's got a spicier sauce on it. Yeah, well, this is quite spicy. Need some orange juice to wash that down with. Yeah, definitely the spice level's up on that one. Coleslaw. Mmm. Nice crispy coleslaw. Lots of ingredients in here. Lots of different types of cabbage. I almost like this more than the brisket. <laughs> All right, let's try this as a burger. Going in with the onions and the pickles and the jalapenos. Oh my gosh, the sauce is on fire. The meat's a little on the dry side. Could, could use some more sauce. Okay, this is the very special 80 year anniversary pulled pork sandwich. Oh goodness. I think we're gonna use the little sleeve they give you for this one. Yeah, definitely. But we're gonna have a major mess going on here. Here it is, pulled pork sandwich. Let's get into it. Quit talking, Eric. Get into it. <laughs> oh, my. This has got a sweet sauce on it. Hmm. Well, you definitely get a lot of pulled pork. It's nice and soft. And there's a whole bunch of coleslaw in here, too. It's a meal by itself. Oh, goodness. I think from here on out, I'm going to eat it with the fork. Are you guys still hungry? I'm still hungry. This is the brisket mac stack right here. So brisket on top of a lot of macaroni salad. <laughs> this is a first. Very cheesy macaroni. It's not a, did I say macaroni salad? This is mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. Pretty tasty. Goodness. And heavy. I mean, this is the heaviest dish so far. The brisket, perhaps a bit on the dry side. Could use a little bit more of the sauce. And we have the wings here with the original barbecue sauce on them. This is the, I believe it's an eight pack. Six pack, eight pack. One, two, three, four, five, six pack. Let's go for this one right here on top. They give you the gloves to eat these with, but I'm already a mess, so this will be fun. That's some juicy chicken. Mm-hmm. A nice tangy, zesty sauce. I'll tell you what, if you come to a place like this, come starving so you can eat a lot. That's definitely the way you want to do it. Now, but I wanted to show you guys just about everything on the menu here, from the chicken to the pork to the beef. Mm. This is about the biggest wings I've ever seen, I think. I think that's gonna do it for this barbecue, Texas barbecue style place. Dickie's Barbecue Pit. Oh, goodness. Definitely legit. So on the rating scale between one and six Eric heads today, where are we gonna go? Barbecue, oh, this was an extravaganza for sure. I don't think I've ever had that much meat in one sitting before. Goodness gracious, I'm gonna have to go get some exercise. So I'm gonna go today, it was pretty delish, pretty delish, five out of six, yeah. It's not quite a six, but yeah, I mean, I haven't been to Texas yet, so when I go to Texas, then I'll be able to maybe find the, the real six out of six Texas barbecue, but pretty darn good. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading the comments. See you next time.